Welcome back to the chat room here on Covington Cable Channel 20. I'm Rich Simpson, your host, and we have right next to me Carla Terrell, Shannon Pierce, Lithonia, Loganville, and uh, it's good to have you all here. And they're with you folks are with the cosmetology program, the Cap Tech. Do you just do that here for the Newton campus, or do you move around? We're stationed at the Newton campus. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk what we wanted to talk about on this segment. You have a community event called From Our Hearts. Tell us about that, the times and all, and all that. Uh, on Valentine's Day, we gave our hearts back to the community, and we serviced uh, people who encountered hard times. Uh, we had homeless women, um, a homeless women women shelter. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a juvenile detention center, and we just gave them makeovers and gave them love for the day. Now, how did they find out about what y'all do or the program or, you know? Uh, basically, we contacted them. We called different shelters, and we told them what we were going to be doing in honor of Valentine's Day. And uh, we had people respond to us, and we just started to um, – Plan the event from there. Approximately how many? Uh, we had 19 women and we had nine boys. Great, great. It was a wonderful event. That's wonderful. Now, you and you started this. That's correct. It, was this the first year? Yes, this is the first year and it's something that's been on my heart to give back to the community. Um, I myself have um, had a domestic violence situation and I understand how hard things can be. Oh, sure. And I just wanted to give back. And, That's wonderful. Um, with event planning experience, this would have been the wonderful opportunity to do that. Well, I'm I'm sorry that you went through that, and I hope that you're you, you've recovered psychologically. Yes. And part of that recovery is doing what you're doing. Exactly. It's oh. therapy. Okay. Now that's great. Now let t tell me about the hours of operation, uh, Shannon. I'll let you answer this. The hours of operation for what y'all do at the at the campus. Uh, for what we do at the campus, it's uh, Tuesday and Wednesday from 9 to 3, and then on Thursdays we're there from 9 to 6. Okay. Now, are you, is, is this something that you're, you're actually a professional right now? Are you in school for this, or what exactly? We're still in school. We um, are almost done with our, there's five quarters, and we're in our third quarter, so we have one more quarter left. We graduate in July. So we're technically in the lab, on the lab floor, which is like our little version of a salon. Right. And so we're doing haircuts and hairstyling under the instruction of Mr. Arnold Taylor. Okay. Now, uh, tell us, we'll come back with you, uh, Carla. How did you get into this cosmetology? Uh, there's many reasons why I did, but mostly I love making women over. Um, when you're made over, you feel good on the outside and inside. Mm -hmm. And I just love giving that experience to women so it's this passion it's a passion we, we need to get you y'all on here one time and get somebody in here to do a makeover oh that would sure. be fun sure we'll let's do that it. definitely let's we'll do for it. let's talk after this is over and uh, <laughs> uh that, that would be because then then i could play like the chat room was a real tv show <laughs> <laughs> okay now um uh, what made you want to get into this I mean what did you see something did you have somebody do your hair at one time and you thought I want to do this or you know well no actually I went to school at Valdosta State to for early childhood so I wanted to be a teacher my whole life that's all I wanted to do is teach but I'm really big into fashion I've always watched celebrities and I'm into all the gossip and stuff and I actually got into just like I wanted to go into fashion and I thought hair would be a good thing to do and you make good money and you can help people and you can and I like to talk to people so that's a good job for me to talk and make people feel good about themselves so yeah well again Carla Terrell Shannon Pierce and you knew it was going to go quick I warned you about that <laughs> yes, and uh, it has gone quick but let's Let's plan that makeover thing. Definitely. I'll let y'all come up with the person that you make over. <laughs> I don't want to approach somebody in the street. Hey, you need a makeover. So I'll let y'all do that, you know. No problem. Thank you so That'd much. They're with the Cosmopology Department. Cosmetology. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm the host. <laughs> right. Ladies, thanks for the chat room. We're, we're having just a great time here on uh, Charter Communications Channel 20. I'm going to 
practice, cosmetology yes. with yes. a T. See, I was just doing that last segment, acting like I pronounced it wrong, to make a point with you folks. I'm in this for you. It's a learning experience, but it's cosmetology. All right. New to the set right now is Rebecca Mays hey. on your far right. And Shannon Pierce has moved over this way. And she was on the last segment. And cosmetology. Tell us about the program, please. Um, it's a 15-month program that students go through. Um, they're in the classroom for two quarters. Um, basically what they're doing is theory, a lot of book work, a lot of writing, um, and a lot of mannequin work. Um, you know, practicing the haircuts, colors, permanent waves. So mannequins are very forgiving. <laughs> yeah, they understand, <laughs> but they don't tell. That's, that's one right. thing. <laughs> uh, so how often do you have, do mannequin work, which helps you with uh, the hours being flexible, and uh, how often do you work on regular breathing people? Um, well, mannequin work is every day for the first two quarters. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last two quarters, they're working on, on live patrons. Yeah. Okay. Now, you are a teacher. Yes. How, and you're originally from Covington. Yes. And how did you get into this to begin with? Originally, cosmetology, it mm -hmm. was something that I had always wanted to do. I cut all my Barbie dolls when I was little, so. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fate, but um, I got into teaching because of my passion for hair. Um, I just wanted to spread that on to, to students that also want to do hair. It's, it's just satisfying making people look and feel good. That's good. So you, you, when they come in, they look a certain way, and you feel good about them walking out looking better. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, um, well, how do people get into this? Anybody watching that might be interested? Um, basically, um, go to the website. Go to the website. It's www.decabtech.edu, um, and there is a lot of information on the website about our cosmetology program. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's 15 months. Yes. Okay. Now, let's talk, <laughs> talk about... Uh, some of the services that you provide. Uh, somebody coming in to their, to the program, tell us what they can expect. Well, I'm about to graduate. I graduate in July. I'm in my second to last quarter. So I'm on the lab floor and we practice on all types of hair, men, women, and children. Welcome. Um, we do anything from hair braids to updos to hair coloring to a haircut, um, perms, relaxers, we even do facials, manicures, pedicures. So we do any kind of service, you name it, we do it. Okay, now, uh, I've, I've been thinking about some braids. Oh, yes. Cause I, of course I'm young. And, <laughs> and, and, and uh, I've been told I have that braided look. So uh, how long does that take to actually pull that off, uh, to do that? Somebody um, comes in, you start on their braids and. It, it depends, it could take a while. Really? It depends what we're working with. I always. <laughs> so in my case, five <laughs> minutes and I'm gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'd have to ask my instructor. Yeah. Okay. Um, it goes through him. It seems, I, I think about my barber over in Gwinnett where I live, and it seems like, I mean, he owns his own place. It seems like he would get tired. I mean, he's there early in the morning of standing. Do you ever get Yes, we get tired, and we're only on our feet from 9 to 3. It's it's kind of a full day, but it's tiring, yeah. But yeah. you just have to get used to it. You like your body. You have to learn how to stand and how to hold your arms right. They teach you your posture and everything, so you have to take care of your body. It's physically draining. And they learn all that in the class. Yeah, we learn how to hold our shoulders, our neck, our back, yeah. How many people in the class right now? I have 14 in my class, in the classroom, and there's 15. Yeah, in the lab, the lab we have 15. 15 students. Okay. Well, that's that's a nice little class, but yet not huge right. where you get one on, the better one-on-one -on -one ratio thing there. Mm -hmm. Right. That's good. Well, Rebecca and Shannon, thank you so much for being on the chat thank room. You. We appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. And uh, we'll do that makeover thing. Let's plan that. Yes. We'll do that. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. A real radio. I mean, real TV show. I'm excited about that. I was in radio. That's why I said radio, but it's TV. I don't know. Because I noticed the cameras. That's why I said that. All right. This is the chat room, and we'll be back.